fun. Lots of people out there having, uh, it's like they're going to be picking it up in about 11 minutes. They should be taking the first chair lift up. And Heidi, you and I are both skiers. We love it. But, you know, there's something else going on in Denver International Wine Fest. Yeah. So i got to figure out from you, are you more red, <laughs> white, more like a, a Lafitte? Oh, I don't know. What do, you, what, do you, what do you, I know you like wine. Oh, Rob, skiing and wine for me, that goes hand in hand. I can't even and tell you. by the fire after skiing with the wine. Does that work even better? Exactly. Uh, wine and skiing. There you go. Okay, just well, check it. We are known here in Colorado for our great wine, believe it or not. That's why Mayor John Hickenlooper declared the first week of November as in Denver as Wine Week, the same week as the Denver International Wine Festival. And here today is Christopher Davies from the Wine Country Network and Curtis Lincoln from the Brown Palace. Thank you for being here today. Thanks. Let's start with you. I mean, I, everyone knows I love food. I love wine, probably my two favorite things. If you go to this festival, there's going to be more than 400 wines there. Talk about that. Right. Uh, the Denver International Wine Festival is in its third year, and we designed it as a total experience. It's it's attitude free, but it's a way for people to learn more about wines. And there's so many wine countries in the world. So last year we had over 450 wines from 19 countries. Countries you may not even know make wine, like Uruguay or Switzerland. This year we're going to have Greece and stuff. So it's really a great uh, thing. And on the Thursday night, uh, November 1st, we'll be going to be doing a chef's competition where we take wines that have won the gold medal from our competition in September and we give them to 16 chefs from Denver and Boulder and they will create custom dishes for the people to taste and that's called taste of elegance it's really uh, like iron chef meets wine wow and that Curtis Lincoln awesome. is one of our Talk chefs about that you brought some of the things yeah. you, basically this is food designed to pair with your wine yeah and this is not iron chef material this no. is stuff anybody can <laughs> do at home um, and they're right from my tapas program at the Brown. Uh, this is Spanish chorizo, which I encourage anyone to seek out. Uh, maybe Mars X or Whole Foods has this. It's a, mm. it's a, a, it's a very different sausage. Uh, a blue cheese with a number of pairings. Yeah. Um, uh, chocolate, which is su a surprising pairing with the red wines. Uh, I encourage everyone to try that. Um, some Colorado pears, which are optimal right now, I have to say, in their 15 minutes of fame and uh, olives with Marcona almonds and chilies and garlic and herbs. Wow. All these are real simple dishes to throw together and enjoy wine with at home with your guests. And now talk about, because you know a lot of people out there can't afford the high-end wines, you brought some ones that are affordable and talk about that real quick. Yeah. Uh, Maybe one that somebody should pick up at home if they're not going to this or if, even if they are. Well, if they go to our website, Denver Wine Fest, there's a link to the competition uh, site where you can see the, the wines that won medals this year. And one of which is kind of interesting, it's called Insatiable. It's a Merlot, it's under 10 bucks. And you know, I think that uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money to have good wine. Right, so check out this wine festival. It's going to be a lot of fun. Believe it or not, 400 different wines, lots of food right here in Denver. And for tickets or for information, just go to our website. There's some information there for you, too. And myfoxcolorado.com, of course. Click on the Good Day tab. And I'm going to sample some of this. We'll be right back. <laughs> I couldn't wait for that part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Delicious.